Today, we are doing Abyss, but we are doing our first Abyss challenge in a while. Some of you may be aware that in the most recent update, the 4.8 update, Genshin introduced the option to turn off your UI, your HUD, if you will, and it hides absolutely everything except for the amount of damage that you do. I believe it still shows you that, but you can see your HP, your skill cooldown, your ult, your team. You can't see nothing. So I am going to attempt to accomplish the abyss with the UI off. But not just that. I am also going to be doing it Nuzlocke style. So... <laughs> If one of my characters dies, I cannot use them again. And I won't be able to know if they're low health. <laughs> I'm going to have to play very, very carefully. So here are the rules for the challenge. If a character dies, I am no longer allowed to use that character in any future floors. For every chamber retry that I do, I must do a single pull on the standard banner with Primo gems, not Acquaint Fates, Primos. If I can't manage 36 stars, I have to pull until my next 4 star on the weapon banner. And if I can't complete the abyss at all, I have to do a 10 pull on the weapon banner. The banner running right now is Navia and Nilu's weapons, and I don't own either of them, so I really do not want to risk getting a 5 star and ruining my pity. 07 to my Kanich funds. No, I love you, buddy. And I will win this abyss just for you. Alright, let's make our way over. Cookie, you enjoy, uh, collecting. <laughs> while I suffer. <laughs> it's the duality of <laughs> Cookie running around, frolicking in the fields, picking up materials, while I will be <laughs> losing my mind. But I won't be, it'll be fine. I want to make sure I have a plan for floor 12. You know, nine and 10, I think we can kind of just, we can breathe a little bit, we can chill, get into it. <laughs> I think I'll be okay. I have Zhongli, I have Baiju. Also, quick break for drag to adjust order. Holy, very nice. How convenient. I think also if I take them out, I can put like, yeah, look at that. I can leave a whole slot open in the middle. That's so convenient. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is what it looks like. Just a blank, open experience. <laughs> Miss Arlecchino, are you ready for this? <gasps> okay. So right off the bat, there were quite a few things I noticed that I had taken for granted and made doing combat with no UI a lot harder. First off, not having my team lineup on the right side did throw me off sometimes. I thought I had a pretty good muscle memory of which characters I usually put in which slots, but I realized that I do subconsciously glance over at my team to know which number to press. This is gonna make me realize how many things I took for granted. I have to remember where my characters are. Secondly, not having that big red HP bar above the enemy's heads kind of made it harder to find them quickly on the field. When all your skills and bloom effects are going off, having that marker to kind of quickly locate enemies amongst the chaos is definitely something that I took for granted. It's also really hard to tell where they are when I can't see their HP. Because <laughs> they don't have that giant massive red thing to, to look out for. Okay, all right. Mine too, let's go. It's like watching Kaya's trailer. <laughs> I'm Kaya, cavalry captain for the Knights of Favonius. My eye patch. Wanna hear my story, eh? Alright. And third, I struggled a lot with object permanence for my ultimates. And if you don't know what object permanence is, it's kind of the concept of out of sight, out of mind. So if you can't see something, your brain essentially just doesn't recognize that it exists. I only had that single faint sound to indicate when an ult was up, and that may happen off rotation, so I couldn't use it instantly, and by the time I needed it, I had forgotten that it was up. So, long story short, I forgot to ult with a lot of characters. <laughs> We're doing fine. We're doing good. We're killing it. This one. You. Hello, sir. Holy! <laughs> I always forget how good Arla is until I play her again. I totally forgot Baiju had a shield <laughs> that I could use. I'm gonna need that. Also, I think Newbie just did 100k. I kind of missed it. It was fast, but I think he just did 100k, babe. I'm assuming you're gonna make this a YouTube video? Yeah. 
Hi, YouTube. Come follow us on Twitch. What is floor 10? Oh, specters. Ew. It's not safe because I'm risking that they could die, but it's safe because I know these rotations well. <laughs> it's safe because it's comfortable. All right, let's do this. I love pressing my alt button and not knowing if it's up and just like hoping. As of right now, it's been pretty good. Or so far. <laughs> I didn't even get to the bullet and everything died. Okay, next. Come here! Come here! You're dying too fast! <laughs> okay, I don't think I have ults up right now. <laughs> everything got absolutely nuked. Great. <laughs> Marla. 101! Look at her with these numbers! I'm so proud! Oh my god, she's flying! Oh, <laughs> she's going into the abyss! Freena ult should probably be up. I would imagine. Oh, I think this floor is pretty chill. Hopefully I don't speak too soon, but from what I recall... Ooh, a bit of a lag there. Yep. <laughs> Hey, I think that was 112. Very nice. Oh, and she's flying again. <laughs> the way it gets stuck on the charge attack. We're going into floor 11. This is where it really starts to get serious. We have the ley line. The ley line? What is this thing called? The, the monolith. Thank you. <laughs> the ley line. We have the monolith we have to protect, which I also will not be able to see what percentage it is at, so I simply can just do my best. No time we're fighting against, simply just HP for all. Okay, I have to decide who I'm gonna use here, because this is where, this is where it gets risky. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone will survive, everything will be fine. Oh, should I go more defense focused? No, no, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Karina ult is up, good. Kaza ult is up, great. Baiju ult is up, amazing. Nubi ult is up, even better. Where are they? Where are they? I can't even tell if they're dying. <laughs> okay. My little pookie, you got this. <laughs> Look at those numbers! Look at those numbers, buddy! I knew you had this. Did I do it? Did I do it? Did I do it? Yes! Okay. <laughs> I feel like that went pretty well. Nice little iframe there. Ooh, I don't think I... I think I still took damage from that. It's okay. It's okay, I have a Baiju on my side. Oh, they're both dead. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> okay, slow. These guys are messy. I have to pay attention here. Oh, why is my ult not up? Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Please don't die. Definitely was another verse worth. <laughs> there we go, there we go, there we go. I think. Hey, where's my ult? What the frick, dude? There we go. All right, this is the second half of 11.3 and then we'll get into floor 12. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm genuinely nervous. Did 
Did I ult? No. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you doing? How you doing, Mr. Chicken Salad? I hope you're having a good day. Thou absolutely eat that eats that bird up. <laughs> I love my show. Floor 12, my friends, this is where it gets serious. I know floor 11 is where I said it, it got serious. Big stuff first half. I could go ride in for extra energy, which would be nice. My official is under leveled and underappreciated, unfortunately, but I could go ride in. Kokomi is intriguing me. It's not gonna give me much beyond the hyper bloom and heals. I think as long as I pay attention, I'd be okay with Zhongli. Baiju, where are you? Oh. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I'm so glad that I checked. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew this happens to me at least every other of this. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the lowlands. Actually, first things first, we need to look at what Zhongling was on. We just went through all of that with. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> 7 over 84, 150, bro. One Not the 7 crit rate. <laughs> she was missing an artifact, bro. <laughs> What's her weapon? Oh. <laughs> it's all on that's why. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We were just playing on hard mode, you know? I blame the summer event. I built my Kirada for the vibes. Weapon loadouts win, artifact loadouts win. Please. Imagine if there were loadouts and then you could have them on like a timer. So it's like, I'm gonna move this whole set over to this person, but in 10 hours, I want you to auto-move it back to the, <laughs> to the person it was on. That is way too much to ask for, but it'd be nice. Then I wouldn't have to actually remember anything. Imagine if it auto-moved back in the middle of 412. 412, these are our teams. This is what we're going for. Fingers crossed. Here we go. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm scared. Shield. Nahida. Raiden. Lorraine. So last time I ran this abyss, I used Raiden National for the first half of floor 12 since my Clarin build wasn't quite good enough yet. And since there's no shielder in Raiden National, it required a lot of dodging and I really had to pay attention to my HP levels, especially for enemies like Magu Kenki. It worked really well for Last Abyss, but unfortunately here I did not want to take the risk of being unshielded since I couldn't see my HP. I'm not that good of a dodger, so I decided on a Clarin team with my shield bot Zhongli and crossed my fingers that my improvements to Clarin's build would be enough to cut it. Oh my gosh, perish, please, 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 please. Please. <laughs> oh, that felt really slow. Maybe team? Slays. Stop! No! Absolutely not! <laughs> Unacceptable, Kazo, what are you doing? What are you doing? Seems like an emergency. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! Into the wind! as one with wind and What? I've got the remor! <laughs> what in the world is happening? Gaza! I don't know where my cooldowns are! Oh my god, oh my god. I'm throwing. I'm throwing. It's a little late now. <laughs> no! After my first run of Floor 12 Chamber 1, which is arguably the hardest chamber of this abyss, I did not manage to get the full 3 stars, so I decided to sacrifice a retry, meaning 160 of my hard-earned primos would be going towards the standard banner. Shoot 
Mahito just doesn't have an alt in my brain because I can't see it. This is terrible for object permanence. <laughs> That's why this is so extra hard. I struggle with object permanence so much, dude. I might need to sacrifice another retry chat. That was awful. Okay, there's no way that went better than the first time, so count this as retry number two. I hope you guys are keeping track. And there goes another retry. Third time's the charm, right? Okay. We're gonna do this first, then we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Then we're gonna remember ult. Then we're gonna do this. Oh no! Oh no, Jugly, 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 get off the pillar! Oh my god! Oh my god. What did he think he was doing? I can't see anything. <laughs> I literally can't see anything. Okay, I think that was faster. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with that. That felt a little bit better. I've just got to make sure I'm applying as many elements to the Abyss Heralds as possible. At all times. Get around the freaking thorns. They suck. Remember, help comes first. Mind the side effect. Let the mighty be humbled. I need to be close to the where the heralds are gonna be. So I can start getting them right away. Great. Awesome. Please don't hit me, it's rude. Ah! Come here. Come here. Alt's not up. Alt's not up. It's okay. I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Stop hitting me! <laughs> Please! <laughs> Eventually, I came to the realization that a full 36 star clear may be out of reach for my Clarend, and I decided to settle for two stars in Chamber 1 and keep going. Now that I had committed to the punishment of pulling on the weapon banner till a 4 star, there wasn't as much pressure to beat the invisible timer, I just needed to keep everyone alive. Can I have my ult or what? Like, what's the deal here? Please? Nahida, where is your energy recharge? What's happening? Thank you. Jeez. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh my gosh, that messed me up so bad. I didn't have my ult up. Okay, that worked. <laughs> kind of, I think. I think that was fast-ish. Question mark. Well, it doesn't really matter now. <laughs> oh, my ult's not up. Oh no. Oh no. Oh lord. Perish. Okay. <laughs> I've already lost the star, so it doesn't really matter, but for my dignity, you know? <laughs> I don't know, man. Hello, Mr. Dorito. How are you doing today? Okay, now we find him with this. There he is. Take him down. Oh my gosh, Zhang Li. I can't, I can't have you doing this, buddy, please. I really cannot have you doing this. Emergency ult. 
Please be almost dead. Please be almost dead. Please. Okay, great, Karina has her ult up. Amazing. Ow! Yeah, 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 you want to know? Really? Excuse me. Was that the direction in which I pointed my skill? Is it just this guy left? I don't even know. Oh. <laughs> Novelette just sitting there with this charge attack. <laughs> Oh, I did it. I did it, kind of. At least nobody died, right? Okay, well, I did do two retries. So I will do two pulls on the standard banner with primos. I will buy two standard wishes with my primos. Since I did not 36, I will pull until a four star on the weapon banner. Just for you guys. This is painful. That hurt me so much. That hurt me so much. Ugh. That gave me the heebie jeebies. All right, two samples. Here we go. The rest surrendered. Hmm? No. He's giving, give me a purple or something. Come on. All right, two sustainables done. And then the freaking weapon banner. I will pull until four star. <laughs> My four star pity is one. Just do a temple easy. No, no, no. That wasn't the. That wasn't the. That wasn't the plan. That wasn't the plan. Temple was for if I failed. This is too pity four star. Please give me a Zephos. Please give me a Zephos. Please. Please, I have like all the other ones in the series, and they're lonely and they need a friend. This is for pity for a star. Stop wishing gold, gold, gold on me! Stop it! That was four pity. This is five. Most of them I defeated. Oh my god. This is six. No, I have never lost a duel. Oh my god. This is seven. Please, please. This is eight. Please, 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 nope. please. You wanna see how many dragon spades I have, guys? I have one at R5. I have another at R5. And then I have the one I just got. <laughs> Even worse is my fabs, though. I have. <laughs> Fab Lance, I have one at R5, two at R5, three at R5, four at R5, and one at R2. I have 22 Fab Lances! <gasps> that is it for the challenge. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye, YouTube. I hope y'all are having fun over there on the on the red website. But you know, I've heard it's more fun over here on the purple website. So you should totally come join us. I try to make it funny, but regardless, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the first ever No UI Abyss challenge. Maybe I'll do it again in the future with different stakes, different challenges. No healers, maybe. I would absolutely fail that. <laughs> 1000%, but... Thank you, bye!